guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and while most of my videos are for the New Yorker, as a New Yorker myself, that is my main audience, today's video, this one's for the tourists. Now, if you're a New Yorker, please don't go. You are 95% of my audience, but we can just, you know, donate this video for those wanting to come to New York and give it a little visit. New York has its own, like, cultural foods, the foods that it's popular for, and I've boiled it down to, like, the top three. That is, pizza, hot dogs, and bagels. So I figured why not make a video for the tourists wanting to come explore some vegan pizza, hot dog, and bagels. So if you're a vegan or a veggie experimenting person who is visiting New York City and you would like to get your hands on some of our, you know, so-called staples, pizza, hot dog, and bagels, then stick around. I'll show you some places you can get everything your non-veggie friends are getting. And starting with breakfast, we're gonna do bagels first. For those of you who've been following along my life journey, I finally have a new car. Ta-da! Which means I will be picking up fridge filling videos again soon. I'm so excited to get back to that. Thankfully, each of our three New York foods will have multiple locations you can go to, so I'll be just visiting one of each and giving you options along the way. But I'm gonna start with the place that won my bagel and cream cheese tour a couple years ago, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. They have several locations in Brooklyn and Manhattan, and after we go there, I can even show you some other places you can go. Let's go. Here it is. It was my first time at this location specifically, but they had a lot of different bagels to choose from and a bunch of vegan tofu cream cheeses. Scallion, vegetable, strawberry, and plain. I got my bagel in a few minutes and we're good to go. So my bagel of choice is an everything bagel with scallion tofu cream cheese. And as a real New Yorker, I get it toasted. Toasted. The only exception for not getting a toasty bagel is if you just so happen to snag it right out of the oven. Otherwise, it needs a little bit of warming up, even if it's a fresh bagel. My opinion, my opinion. This little baby here is $5.23, which is about the same as a regular, you know, regular cream cheese bagel. And if it's done right, it's stuffed to the brim. Let's open her up. Oh my goodness. No skimping here. No skimping whatsoever. Now a good bagel is crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And that is something that Brooklyn Bagels does well. Try to ignore the New York City noises for a moment and let's go for some ASMR. And yet, nice and squishy. All right, let's take a bite. I'm gonna be a little bit delicate right now and take a bite of one half of the bagel. Just cause I don't want cream cheese all over my face. Mm. I pity those who've never had a good New York City or New Jersey bagel. And as much as I shit on New Jersey, they also can make a good bagel. If the cream cheese isn't this thick, I don't want it. Now that was delicious and delightful. And there's only one other bagel shop with vegan bagels and cream cheese that I could recommend as enthusiastically and that is Tompkins Square Bagels. I've visited Tompkins Square Bagels a few times on this channel so I'm gonna dig up some old clips and give you a little show. They too have a lot of different kinds of tofu cream cheese and most of their bagels are vegan. If not all, you're gonna have to ask. I'm pretty sure just the egg one isn't maybe. So depending on where you are in New York City, if you want a good vegan bagel and cream cheese, I recommend Recap. Brooklyn Bagel Company or Tompkins Square Bagels. But next up, we're going to a spot that serves vegan hot dogs and I've never been here before, so we're gonna get to explore together. Here it is, it's called Grilled. I don't know what I was expecting when I pulled up, but it was way more adorable in real life. You go up to a window and order and everything on the menu was incredibly reasonably priced. They had things like hot dogs, burgers, fries, and shakes, and they recently started opening seven days a week. All right, this is how I like my hot dogs. Ketchup, Dijon mustard, and relish. The hot dog is a little bit small, but keep in mind it was $3, and I feel like the price is pretty proportionate to the hot dog. Let's give it a try. Taste test. Light Life does such a good job with hot dogs. I have to say, they're like probably the most accurate. I've tried Field Roast too, and I think that one's pretty good too. Mmm. It even has that snap of the skin, you know what I mean? I will be coming back here for a full review. Super meaty and the texture is very hot dog-esque, if you know what I mean? 
Now, while New York has a lot of spots you can get a good vegan burger, vegan hot dogs, strangely enough, much more rare. Only one other place comes to mind that has a good vegan hot dog, and it's not even a place. It's actually a cart. I'll insert clips here of the one time I found a vegan hot dog at a hot dog cart. I stumbled upon this cart right outside of Canal Street Market in Chinatown, and they do a soy hot dog. It was only a couple dollars, and honestly, kind of decent for the price. But no promises, as this was a few years ago. That being said, as a New Yorker, I would never like truly endorse eating hot dogs from hot dog carts because we know how often that hot dog water has changed. And the answer is not nearly enough. But to each his own, and perhaps risking food poisoning is part of the New York City experience. Not sure on that one. Our last New York City staple is vegan pizza. And while no, we don't have vegan dollar slice yet. You know, the gods have not yet blessed us with that opportunity, but vegan slices, we have an abundance. I'll show you just one place and a few other places you can go. Let's go. The locals probably guessed this one, but we're at Screamers. I didn't get great footage inside of Screamers, so this is footage I got a couple years ago. They make all of the pizza in-house, and they always have a ton of different slices to choose from. They even have sandwiches and wings. Now they have a lot of slice options in there, but I decided to go for plain. You know, keep it classic since this is a classic New York City food video. One slice is $3, which is more than the 99 cents New York City is famous for. But I believe give it time. In time, there will be a New York City vegan 99 cents slice out there. I have faith. I must say this taste test is a formality because I've eaten at Screamers many, many times and I am a fan. Oh, so thin, so crispy. Folded for on the go eating. Damn, it's so good. Screamers does such a good job on its plain slice. It's so freaking nostalgic and delicious. But I have to say, if you want to zhuzh it up a little bit and venture past a New York City classic, go for their Screamer pie. It's a white pie with mushrooms, and honestly, it's my favorite one from them. Screamers has two different locations, and they're both in Brooklyn. But Rebecca, what do I do if I'm not in Brooklyn and I don't want to take the trek out here? Well, you have several options. Again, New York City has a lot of vegan slice options. We first have two boots. They don't have a plain slice, but they have one with like pesto and interesting stuff on it. They have a few locations in Manhattan and one in Brooklyn. Your second option is Zazie's. They do a plain slice and they have a couple locations in Manhattan and I'm not sure in Brooklyn. And the third option is Pizza Suprema. Now I'm gonna give this option with a caveat. I'm not a fan. I don't particularly like the pizza at Pizza Suprema, but a lot of people do. So if you're in the area, it might be worth giving a try. We've come to the end of the video, and I hope at this point you know all the places to find a good vegan hot dog, bagel, and pizza in New York City slash Brooklyn. If you're from New York City and you found this video helpful, then please leave a like. If you have suggestions of places to get more vegan New York City staples, then leave them in the comment section down below for the visitors. And if you're a visitor or someone who wants to visit and you found this video helpful, then please leave me a like and share with anyone else you feel might need this information. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're having a great day. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Wow. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.